Hey guys, this is Miss Russell um, here again to explain today's assignment. Today is April 1st. Um, congratulations, we have made it to April and we have made it to a new unit. Uh, so we are starting Romeo and Juliet today. Um, of course, I wish we were starting it together, but we will get through it together. Um, just really quickly, if you have not been keeping up, um, on Monday, we did our To Kill a Mockingbird Part 2 test. Uh, so you just click this form, um, and then you email address, name, class period, and then the test is right here, okay? Um, it's just like a normal test. Take all the time that you need, all the resources that you have to take that test. Um, yesterday, we actually gave you a catch-up day. Um, which I thought what a lot of us needed. Um, and this is another Google form, and it gives you all of the things we've done. Guys, we have done a lot in this past month. Um, you know, we've written an essay, we've read chapters, we've done springboard pages, um, we've done a test. So if you um, haven't been keeping up, now is the time to get caught up because we're just we're just moving on, okay? You know we're we're starting Romeo and Juliet. If there's something I can do to help you um, get caught up, please let me know. I'll be sending out another round of emails this week um, about missing work, and if you haven't turned in anything, I will definitely be um, in contact. So make sure if there's something going on, you know, let me know. If there's something I can do to help you, let me know. Uh, but past that, you know, we got to get caught up and uh, moving on. So today, like I said, we're starting Romeo and Juliet, and that's really exciting um, because it is a really it's going to be unlike anything that you have read or experienced before. So, um, that being said, we will have our Zoom meeting tomorrow. Now, I know that we usually do it on Wednesday, and I plan to do it on Wednesday, but then when we shifted everything, you know, um, it just made more sense to do it on Thursday so that we could um, spend some time with Act 1 together after you have already had some experience with it. Um, so tomorrow we're going to Zoom and I'm going to be on Zoom basically all day. For second block we're going to do it at 11 and then this is different. Third and fourth you'll be at noon at 12. Um, you know Romeo and Juliet's really uh, it's very different um, and I want to give you the opportunity to ask as many questions as you want and spend as many time as much time as you need so I wanted to break it up into classes um, you know this can last 30 minutes or it can last an hour it just depends how long you guys need and um, how much review you want to do um, because we will have a quiz on act one on Friday now I know that seems fast but it's only act one so that's just kind of like reading a chapter in something like To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, act 1 is broken up into five different scenes. Now, whatever your favorite TV show is, let's say your main character goes to school, that would be one scene, and then they go home, that would be another scene, and then, then if they go to sleep, that would be a third scene. So even though there are five scenes, um, they're really small and Act 1 really goes together. So that's why we are reading Act 1 today, um, finishing Act 1 and zooming about Act 1 tomorrow and then going ahead and going with that quiz on Friday. Um, now, there, the best way to read Act 1 is to go on Spark Notes and then you go to the No Fear Translation, and now I've linked this for you. And then over here it says Act 1, and it's broken up into Prologue, Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3, Scene 4, Scene 5. And you'll read each of these, so let's click the Prologue. And if you can see, I know my screen's kind of limited here, and I apologize for that, but on the left side, you have the 
original Shakespearean language, but on the right side you have it translated into something that you and I can easily understand, okay? So let's go over here, we're going to click scene one, and it's the same way, okay? Now it is a play, so you'll have to read it kind of like Samson said, Gregory, I swear, we can't let them humiliate us, we won't take their garbage. And then Gregory said this, um, the best way to keep this all straight in your mind is to follow along with your Act 1 questions. So if you look here, you have an Act 1 study guide, and then an Act 1 terms. The top is terms, and you'll fill these out first, okay? And here's the PowerPoint. You'll see they're right here. Adversary, boisterous, nuptial. Adversary, boisterous, nuptial. Um, and same here, literary terms. Aside, blank verse, couplet, uh, foil, um, all of these are literary terms that go with Romeo and Juliet. And then you have your questions. So there are, you know, quite a bit of questions here, but you're going to have two days to work on this. Um, but it also helps you keep it straight. So what city does this play take place? And then you'll put the answer. Why are Romeo and Juliet called star-crossed lovers? And then the answer is in the prologue. And then it keeps it straight again here. We have scene one. Who's fighting? Then you go to scene two. And then it, you can click through um, the No Fear Shakespeare. Okay? Um, I know this is new. I know this is different. Bear with me. Okay? We're going to get through it together. Um... Finally, we have our favorite YouTube channel here giving summaries, okay? So while these probably won't help you answer your questions, they might help you answer some of your questions um, on your sheet. This will definitely give you a summary. So you have scene one, this is gonna give us a ad, of course. But it's the same kind of this is a lady, I know, weird, but they're exp she's explaining what's going on in the scene, okay? And you have the same um, kind of weird characters, but they do a really good job, guys. Um, like I said, you're going to have a quiz over Act 1 on Friday, and then we'll have a Zoom review Thursday. Um, everything kind of got switched a little bit because of our review days. So this is our new calendar of events. It actually goes all the way through um, Friday the 17th. You know, these are the next three days. Then, of course, we have um, spring break, or spring break here, rather. Um, the big thing here is your book talk is now going to be due Friday, April 17th. Um, it'll be due on Flipgrid, and we'll go into all of that, but keep it in mind. Uh, hopefully some of you will be catching up over spring break. Um, <laughs> and then we're, you know, keep it on with Romeo and Juliet, okay? Um, guys, let me know what questions you have. Um, I'm available on all these different platforms, you know. Um, if I don't get to your question right away, I really try to check it again in the evening. Um, you know, my Google Voice and all that, uh, the Remind. So let me know how I can help. Um, you know, I miss you guys. I wish we were at school, but I appreciate your patience and understanding as we, you know, venture into this new journey of Romeo and Juliet. Um, Hopefully we will be back together soon. Stay safe.